Okay, let's see. Got the camera going. I'm gonna put on my headset here. I am going to play some Doom. I'm not much of a gamer. I love original Doom, and Doom 2, and many of the many mods out there. Uh, and I'm just gonna play because that's something I do uh, almost every day. And uh, you're here to join me for a day. Uh, I mean, a lot of people like watching people play video games online. I really don't get that. If you do, maybe you'll enjoy this. If not, sorry. Okay. Um, so I'm going to run a script that I wrote called D Music, which is probably up on my pace spin. So again, search my notes on my website. Um, and basically, uh, in my home directory, if I list out, I have a folder called Doom. And when I list out, you can see there's a text file, uh, a WAD file, and a DEH file. DEH file. So before Doom was open source, uh, or I guess maybe even after, some people might still do it, uh, you could actually still modify Doom by using a program called uh, DHEX, I think it was called. I used to use it all the time back in the 90s. Uh, and it would allow you to modify the game. I see a WAD file contains art, sound, music, uh, levels, that sort of stuff, the media part of the game. And you can modify that with ease, but you could also modify how the game runs, just like you're editing the source code, but actually by editing, uh, by creating these DEH files. Um, so every, you know, when I finish playing a mod of Doom, I, you know, download a new one. And you have to, let's see, PR boom. So like, here's, here's my, uh, my line for, for playing um, Chex Quest. Uh, which you saw me play earlier, you know. If there's a WAD file, I have to link the WAD file with dash file. If there's more than one WAD file, I've got to link each one. Same with DH, uh, DEH, DEH files. Um, so what I do is uh, I put the mod, all the files for the mod, into this folder. And then my D music will load all the WADs and DEH files in that folder so I don't have to remember the name of the WAD and stuff that I'm loading. So. When I'm done with this wad, I delete the stuff in the file, download a new one, unzip it into that directory, and I still just use D music. Now, D music doesn't just load those files, it actually uses MPV and uh, YouTube DL to stream a playlist I've created for playing Doom uh, that is, it, and it shuffles it. So it's actually a YouTube playlist that I add music to all the time, mostly 90s stuff. I got, I've got uh, probably some Prodigy on there, some Danzig. Uh, Mortal Kombat soundtrack, even though I'm playing Doom. Um, what else on there? Oh, a lot of the hacker soundtrack. Uh, and uh, I just added some uh, from the movie The Crow, the score, not the soundtrack, but the score, although the soundtrack's pretty good too. Um, so uh, I'm not going to let you guys hear the audio. I don't want to get you know, tagged for audio infringement, and I like playing with the music. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and play, so I'm going to hit enter here. So I can do this. I can also just do uh, D music space music and my script will just play the playlist randomly in case I just want to listen to that music and not play Doom. Uh, and it's also going to incorporate Tmux into there. It's actually going to split the screen and it's going to start the music in one panel and the game in another so I can go in and skip the music if I want uh, or still use the shell. So let's go ahead and play. Oh and this is a, a mod um, Manu Lake. I don't know, that's the name of the wad, and uh, I've already played this before, so this is not my first time playing it, but I'm going to start at the beginning. There we go. And we'll set up a save file so I can save every once in a while. Here we go. And uh, right now, the song I'm listening to is from the Mortal Kombat soundtrack, in case you were wondering. Let's see. You know, sometimes it's fun to try to let the guys get close to the barrels and blow them up. We'll see. I'm too far away. Okay. Hmm. Now, I said I, I've already actually completed this wad all the way through. And after a couple of levels, one thing I really like about this wad is the guy just basically just gives you unlimited rockets. He just, everything is rockets. So it's. Which is interesting. When it comes to, to wads, different mods for for Doom, sometimes it takes a little while playing to get how the person does something like this person's uh, hidden uh, secrets on the level. He really likes to do where I tell you right here, there's a secret behind this wall here. But to get to it, and it's, to get to it, I have to go to a completely another room and like 
when I step somewhere, it opens up, so I have to listen. If I hear a door or something open somewhere, i got to figure out where it is. And he does that on every single level. And like I said, when you get to his levels a little bit further, it's like you don't really use any any weapon other than the rocket launcher. He just gives you so many rockets, you just never run out. And um, he also likes to have a couple of cyber demons and a couple of the uh, mastermind spiders on every level. Uh, which is interesting, because those are usually like finale big boss fights, and he'll throw a couple of them at, in every level at the end and randomly throughout. But he gives you so many rockets, it doesn't really matter. I'll save every once in a while. In case I die, you guys don't have to watch me do the whole level over again. My nice talking's a little distracting. Oh, uh, no. Oh, good chain gun. Be good since I don't have too many shells for the shotgun at this point. When Doom 2 first came out, you know, the new weapon you'd got was the double barrel shotgun, or the super shotgun as it's called in the game. Um, I did not like it at first. It was I just found it way too slow. Uh, but now it's my favorite weapon. It's like you can just kill so many guys with one shot. And so, I'm just waiting to get that now. Brutality is the name of the song that I'm listening to now. And like I said, it's part of the uh, Mortal Kombat soundtrack, I believe. Uh, let's see. Just so, in case you're wondering what I listen to while I'm playing. Sorry if my frame rate isn't that best on the recording. I'm not sure how what I have it set to. Normally I don't have it set very high because I'm just recording, you know, shell stuff for the most part. Yeah, uh, the double barrel shotgun, a lot of guys like those guys, if you hit them good, two shots. The Hell Knights, three shots, and you're done. It's just kind of a pain, but I, I think I'm going to get the double barrel right here. Yeah. Now, if you've never played Doom, uh, also I'm the version of Doom, the port of Doom that I'm playing uh, is PR Boom, which... Uh, Oh, let's get this guy real quick. The um, it's a, there are a lot of other Doom ports or clones or I guess ports, whatever you want to call them. You know, since it's under the GPL license, that uh, they add. I mean, originally with Doom, you couldn't look up, you couldn't look down. Yeah, you, uh, you couldn't even really use the mouse for, for very much. I mean, you could use it, but it was kind of you, you used. You didn't even use WASD when Doom originally came out. You used the arrow keys and shift and control and your hands would get tired I, oh the cramps I would get from playing like this um, so it's nice that we have you know better ways to play first-person shooters now um, but uh, I know there's a lot of different uh, ports of Doom out there that add more function I mean when you first start playing this if you haven't played Doom in forever you don't realize the differences like if I go to the map here look at this map it's like it shows you the floor textures of each room, and doors of different colors. Back in the day, all it was was a red lines and yellow for doors, and that was it. It was it was disgusting. And but if you haven't played the game in a long time, you probably wouldn't realize that. Uh, you know, if you but if you have a copy, which I do, you know, go into DOSBox or something, run it, and you'll see that it's, it's a lot different. But I know that other ports have a lot of functionality. I'm going here because there's a secret out there that I got to run through here for. Um, Right, like this. See, and this is what I'm saying. This guy, all his secrets are like that. Uh, you gotta listen for those doors to open and close when you run through certain doorways and stuff. Anyway, I like PR Boom. It's a lot like playing the original, even though newer versions, uh, was it Z Doom and GZ Doom, uh, tend to add a lot more functionality to the game. And uh, I like those two. But like, uh, there's a few different words. Chocolate Doom. Uh, is also I, I I use this because it's in the repositories. I played with a lot. I've played with the source code. I'm familiar with it. Um, we haven't not gone. I haven't gone over here yet. Um, but PR Boom, it's like it adds just enough functionality that the game is better played than it originally was, but it's still very similar to the original game. Uh, 
there's no, a lot of the ports, and there might be an option here to enable it, but you can jump with a spacebar, and a lot of levels, that lets you cheat. You can jump over walls you couldn't before because you can't jump in Doom. See, spacebar does nothing. Again, there might be an option to enable that. Another thing is, so in Doom, originally, like I said, you couldn't look up and down. Uh, whoa. So, like, when I'm shooting this guy, you know, so I, I could be pointing down like this, because as far as I know, because it's not a true 3D game, uh, so if I point up, it's still shooting straight ahead, uh, but it would aim up and down for you automatically where there are bad guys. Like these guys, I can be pointing down here. Oh, let's get that guy real quick. And I'm still shooting the guys up there, even though I'm pointing down at the ground. There are other ports of Doom that now uh, will actually shoot where you aim, which is awesome. But at the same time, on certain levels, uh, like the final level of Doom 2, where you got to shoot through the little opening at the big demon head brain thing that has, um, uh, what's his name, John Romero behind it. But you got to get up on the um, little platform and jump off and you got to do it three times. Well, if you can point up and down, you can actually go to that level and just point at that hole and shoot and it, it makes it too easy. Um, and I feel like I'm cheating when I do that. And I'm not saying that's bad, especially if you're playing a mod that takes that into account, so it's it's not cheating, but if you're playing the original game, adding jumping and being able to point up and down to shoot. I mean, I like being able to look up and down to shoot, but like I said, it doesn't aim when I point up and down, which can lead to what I would consider cheating. Um, 11 minutes, okay. Uh, I forget what I was getting at. Yeah, so I, I use PR Boom. I'm gonna save real quick. Uh, what do I got here? Don't have any sh any big weapons yet. This is gonna be a pain. Ah. Yep. Good thing I saved. <laughs> Let's try the double barrel shotgun. Three good shots with a double barrel shotgun should kill this guy. Okay. Oh, missed him there. Oh, one more good shot. Should do it. There we go. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, Doom being open source allows for a lot of ports, and I know there's probably better ones than PR Boom, but I just like the fact that it's very close to... What is that opening? That's opening something. That's one of those secret things. Uh, oh, I know what it is. Like I said, I played this a week or so ago. I just actually just finished this mod, because I play a level or two a day. 32 levels to count the secret levels, which there are two secret levels on this uh, mod here. Red key, where have I been? Where have I not been? So you can see there's there's a secret behind there. I don't remember how I got that last time. Mm -hmm. Oh, what was this? There we go. Oh, I've been down. This is where I came from, which is fine. Might be where I need to go. Uh, this is a, oh, uh, so I'm listening now to uh, Hacker's soundtrack. Uh, Cowboy, I think is the name of the soundtrack of uh, the 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 track I'm listening to. So one of the guys like. I'm invisible, I'm invisible, if you're familiar with the soundtrack at all. Uh, <laughs> oh, here's the end of the level. Oh, yes, yeah, so this first level didn't give me any big weapons, like I said. Once you get a few levels into this guy, this guy just gives you... Oh, we back? Okay. Uh, just to make this a little more fun. I'm going to use some cheat codes here. Uh, let's see, get back in the game. IDKFA, happy ammo load, keys. Now let's just go blow stuff up. Whoa! <laughs> so I get for using the rocket launcher, I'm using cheat codes. Let's, uh, Start again, I KFA. Oh, normally when I play, I try not to use cheat codes. Uh, cheat codes I only I really only use when I'm 
playing, you know, just for fun, my leisure, is, um, whoa, uh, ID clip to walk through walls, and that's usually, like, because I don't feel like walking all the way around, like, I'm at one part of level, I need, know I need to get to another, and, man, I need to pay attention, because I'm going to die. And I'll cut through a wall instead of walking all the way around, like, sometimes in levels you gotta backtrack a little bit, and I don't feel like backtracking. Okay, let's see. Man, I'm doing horrible. I'm cheating and I'm still doing horrible. Let's see. <laughs> 1% health. This will help. There we go. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I should save the game so I don't have to keep restarting. Uh, I'm really not this bad. Uh, I don't know if it's just being on camera. It's just being on camera. I'm trying to play fast instead of taking my time. I'll do better this time, I promise. Whoa! Man. Oh! These guys hit me. Let's blow ourselves up. I'll do a quick save here. I'm not the best player in the world, but I'm a lot better than I'm looking right now. Seriously? Seriously. It's another thing that this guy likes to do, he has uh, teleporters that teleport the bad guys behind you, so sometimes walls will open up and a bunch of bad guys will be there and all of a sudden they'll all be right behind you. Let's talk about Doom, like, from a technical s aspect, a little bit more. So, um, like I said back in the day, before Doom was open source, you could still mod pretty much the entire game. Obviously, with the WAD files, you can modify the um, graphics and the levels and music and whatnot. Uh, but you could also modify the, the binaries by using the uh, dehacked uh, editor, which is pretty awesome. And uh, it's, it's, it's Doom has always been one of my favorite games and really led me into a lot of 
interest in programming. I always was interested in computers, but just to be able to modify a game like this and actually create something. And I wish I, I I've lost so many of my old files because just back then you just didn't know to back up like you like we do now. Like you you knew but you didn't. <sighs> it was just I've got CDs. I might have some my wads. I, I've mentioned in previous videos. I I bought a black and white scanner to scan in. It cost me like three hundred fifty bucks for this feed scanner uh, to scan in pictures. I would take my friends. So I take pictures, film camera, get them developed, uh, scan them into my scanner, and then manually try to color them using uh, Adobe Photo Deluxe was the program I would use. So basically, I would just like. Uh, use uh you know tools to just try to put the skin tone back in people and stuff like that oh and um and i made a lot of different doom mods and it really did lead to me learning a lot about computers um but one of the things i did with the dehacked was i like to change the speed of the, the gun shoot at. And if you've watched my videos on editing PR Boom's source code, I've done videos where I make the rocket launcher shoot as fast as the minigun, you know, and uh, which is very dangerous. Um, and I did that in the source code by cutting out some of the frames of the animation so that it would be shorter. Well, with DHEC, I don't remember exactly how I did it. And maybe something has changed because, you know, especially after it went open source, uh, a lot of changes have been made. But I was able to make the rocket launcher shoot super fast, but I had two problems. If I made it shoot too fast, too, too fast, the rockets would crash into each other in front of me. Like, it would come out, and the next one would come out, the hit, and it would just blow up in front of me. Another problem I have is if I had a bunch shooting up, they wouldn't go straight. They would always arc to the right or the left, uh, which was weird. Um... I don't know what caused that, and I don't have that problem when I modify the source code directly. I don't know if it's because I'm modifying it in a different way that it's not having that issue, or if it's because um, there have been changes to the source code uh, since I modified Doom 20 years ago, you know? Uh, well, I have the cheat code, so I have the keys. I haven't actually collected the keys yet. Ooh. Uh, so right now I'm listening to, uh, I believe it's uh, Marilyn Manson, uh, it's a, I don't know the name of the song, but it's from, uh, uh, what's the zombie video game movie with the girl, uh, extremely popular video game, I've only really played it once or twice, but I, I've seen all the movies, with the Umbrella Corporation, you guys know what game I'm talking about. Um, and yeah, it's, it's like this slow growing song that I think is from the beginning of the movies where she's recapping. Because there's what, like eight of those movies? And so she has to recap things that happen in all the other movies before she gets to what's currently happening. And I think that's what this song is, uh, that part of the movie that song this song is from. Uh, I'm pretty sure I gotta jump onto there from here. But I want to go in here too, so let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Does this open up? Yes, it does. Let's check it out. I'm pretty sure I have to jump off that other ledge and make it onto that first ledge. Oh, well, that's. Yeah, great. Thank you. <laughs> uh, now I'm listening to a remix of um, Seven Nation Army, which is funny because I actually did a cover of that, a remake of that. Uh, using LMMS and some other tools, and this before the guy starts singing, I, I would almost swear it's it's my my version. It's it's very similar, although I haven't listened to my version in years. I think I'm supposed to be able to jump down into there. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it though. Uh, well, a seven nation army couldn't hold me back. Okay, I'll stop singing. <laughs> Uh, see, like I said, this guy likes to put a lot of those guys on the levels, which isn't too bad once you have the rocket launcher, which I'm not sure if I've actually gotten yet since I put in the cheat code. Uh, got him. 
gotta be careful going up these elevators. Guys might appear in front of you and then... Uh, let's see. Save just in case. I do save a lot. In fact, I'm not saving nearly as much as I normally do. Normally, like every two steps, I save real quick. Which is something in Doom, you gotta click your F6, and yes, where when you're using Quake, you just hit F6, it automatically saves, which you think would be dangerous, like you would accidentally save over something, but I never really did it. Um, another thing that I think some ports of Doom have fixed, but PR Boom hasn't, and I know Quake fixed, is. Um, if I die, I can save the state of the game as me dead. Uh, which I've done by accident before, and then it's like, well, now I can't go back to my save because I'm dead. Um, where Quake won't let you do that. I'm pretty sure there's some other ports of Doom that uh, prevent you from being able to save after you're dead, which would make sense. But originally in Doom, and still I'm pretty sure in this port of Doom, I can save the game after I die, which is just weird. Where have I not gone yet? There's the yellow key. Oh, someone's shooting me. Oh, hi. Well, I haven't been over there yet. But I, th well, I know how to get the yellow key, but I already have the yellow key, so I typed in a cheat code. Let's see. Oh, I almost just blew myself up. That was really close. Gotta be careful. These heat-seeking missiles can come up behind you after you run past them. <laughs> I just killed myself. Where... How long ago did I save? Okay. this guy. There he is. Let's switch to this. Plasma gun probably would have been a better option, but... Yep, so that wasn't that whole level again. I used cheat codes, so I had, uh, keys. Uh, I don't know, let's, let's stop playing for now. I'm sure I'm boring you guys. Again, my gameplay is kind of sucking, and... It's probably not as fun not being able to hear the audio of the game either. I probably should put the audio of the game in the stream but I wanted to listen to music. Anyway, what do we got going on now? 